Well, you can see the picture right here, and uh, here's what it actually looks like now. Totally different. No more of the, the pillars. Uh, this wasn't originally the beginning of this video, but I wanted to come back just to show this off a little bit and show how, uh, I mean, right after you come in, yeah, they have, they've got the pillars here, but it used to extend out this way and uh, totally different entrance. And as I said, uh, Macy's, which used to be the Bon Marche, was uh, the mall's main store. It was their main squeeze. It was their main anchor. Anyway. Tacoma Mall, a Christmas to remember. Mariposa wet seal, western roundup bed and bath. B. Dalton, Kenny Shoes, DJ Mr. Rex. Venice Drugs, County Seed, Music Land, and Leeds. Athletes Foot, Band Bridge, and Puget Sound Band. The Doggo's Imaginary Young Merry Go Round. Contempo Casuals, above the bell. Camelot Music Land Sound, Tyler and Tyler. Tacoma Mall, a Christmas to remember. Volume shoe stores, clubs, boutiques, specialties, just petites, Valentine, Diageo, sales, and studio cow. Merch, merch, jewelers, Jean Juarez, glamour shots, tinderbox, oak tree, waterbed center, five, seven, nine. Wise feels the touch shop, the sand up, props, nutrition, crescent jewelers, Noah's pet and hobby, Hudson Goodman, Tom McCann, Myers House of Clocks, Christmas to remember, Young Pastors, Tall's Camera, Motherhood, Maternity, Port Chatham House, Dressing, The Bombay Company, A Christmas to remember, Take on my at the Tacoma Mall and uh, I want to get something to eat first so I'm going to go to the food court how ah, good Sarku of Japan is still there so that's good Yeah, Sarku's teriyaki is pretty damn good. Yeah, like I said, uh, their teriyaki is really good. Interesting to note how huge this skylight is here. That thing is just huge. And over there used to be, over in that direction, used to be a uh, Lucky's. I mean, this whole area is totally different than it used to be. Well, anyway. Um, yeah, they totally changed this area um, to the right. Used to be, over here used to be a, a grocery store. It was Lucky's when we moved here, but before it was Lucky's, it was a thriftway, and it had a Native American theme to it. Kind of interesting. Now one thing, excuse me, one thing to take note of here is 
the way the ceiling is, the way the roof is, right in this section here, um, it's, uh, and you can see the way they designed that. They left that the same. But when you go to any of the other areas like these, every so many feet, they have a big skylight. And it doesn't really match, none of that matches the, uh, the rest of the design of the mall. It's just kind of out of place. Yeah, it adds a lot more light, but it, it kind of ruined the design. But we can see this mall seems to be doing pretty good right now. Certainly better than any of the others I've been going to. Now right here is kind of interesting. Um, if you look up, you can see that they kept the... Uh, they kept the, the you know, original design you know, around the ceiling, but then they put all these fake fronts on all of the... Uh, all of the columns going down try to modernize it. Oh man, Bath and Body Works is really strong today. But there's one area in particular that uh, I want to point out. It's coming up right here. This store here on the corner, which is closed, used to be a uh, there used to be this railing that would lead around and I'm trying to figure, figure out how far it went but uh, yeah I think it I think it went all the way to to right around here I'm trying to figure out how far it actually went but uh, there used to be there used to be a stairway that led down now, let me see if I can get to the right location of what the right angle would be. It's kind of this angle here. And you can see the, you know, the, the pillars and all of that. But uh, there used to be this stairway that led down to a, uh, to the, to the bottom entrance of, uh, what was, uh, the Bon Marche. I'll go down to the, uh, the bottom floor and show you. Glad no one's given me a hard time about masks. Yeah, I believe it was this corner. This corner where they, they used to have uh, an exit to those stairs. And uh, as you see, there's, there's no sign of it anymore. But uh, what was cool about it, I mean, these pictures don't show, don't do it justice because it's, uh, it doesn't have the plants. There used to be tons of plants. It, it was just one of the most beautiful things. I'd, I'd want to come to the mall sometimes just to see it. Now, I just want to show just a little thing here. All those, the, the design of this mall was by one of the, uh, you know, one of the people involved in it, 
uh, designed the Space Needle. So... What I'm showing you now is the, uh... Because the Bon Marche, which is Macy's now, which I'm in, used to be the the main squeeze of this mall. And if you look at the design here, those pillars and those shapes and such were all part of the design and they used to even have uh, in their marketing for anything mall, they'd write the, the M in the word mall would be the, in those same those same pillar shapes so all right those are some slow ass doors let me tell you Oops, wrong way. All right, McFly. McFly. Wow, the perfume is almost as strong as it was in the 80s. Back in the day, they used to uh, spray perfume right here in the front. Used to be a uh, perfume that they'd, you'd have to stay away from the area. But now it's, uh, now it's all about Bath and Body Works that smells, so... This storefront has been a number of things. I think at one point it was uh, Thomas Kincaid deal. Apple, apple everyone, apple. I mean, this isn't too bad for a for a Tuesday, but as you can see, there aren't that many there aren't that many closed stores. There's some, but it's nothing like uh, nothing like uh, the the Commons or the South Hill Mall, or especially not Three Rivers Mall. Jean Juarez, uh, we're open, huh? new location and here's another one obviously you know I'm actually surprised there's still a four-year entertainment here
I just want to look in here for a moment. Don't come in here very often because I have no need to go to a Nordstrom normally, but let's just look at it. Nordstrom started off as a as a shoe store. And then they took over another business. And then they combined those things and it became the Nordstroms we know of today. Quite a shiny floor, but anyway. No need to go through that whole thing. You can see right here more than anything how, how much their skylights messed up the design. Now the South Center Mall has almost the same, no I think it is the same ceiling and they didn't, uh, Westfield is the one that bought the uh, South Center Mall and they treated this differently. It, it, they, they kept the things that looked really good. I mean, I've talked about how we shouldn't get rid of things just because they're dated, but there are some dated things that are really ugly, so... But uh, this ceiling was not one of them. It's the Apple line. I mean, what they did here to these uh, to these pillars, you know, doesn't look bad. But I still like the original design better. But it certainly makes it match the floors and such. I think it's going to be interesting in, like, if any of these malls survive the next 10 years, what will they look like then? Like I said, there's so much refining of the way things look. There's, I mean, it, it's, it's been the same kind of refinement of the same things for the past 15 years. So you know, there's got to be a next, a next move. Something else to come into place that will replace this stuff. I saw that store before.
Hot topic. All right. Besides just wanting to walk the whole mall, I, I also just want to see what uh, what it's going to be to the left. You know, have they? What do they show there now? That guy walked like Dan Bell. It's my only complaint about Dan Bell's videos. Just like, man, just walk, just just walk. Shouldn't take, you know, 20 seconds to move 10 feet, you know? <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I love I love his stuff, but man, there's just nothing here. There's no this is weird to see this empty with just a couple seats here. There's no plants, there's there's nothing. So that's uh, kind of closed. They're still working on stuff though. Wow, Spencer's all here all by its lonesome, huh? Let's see if they let people through a doorway this way. Or is it just cut off? Yeah, it just cuts off. Up above there, there's a, there was a doorway that normally led this way, but... Uh, also used to be a piercing place right there. Can't remember what was in these. Well, this one here with, the, with all the lips on it, that was Suncoast at one time, but that's been gone for a long time, so... So okay, there's there's a there's a wing of the mall that isn't doing so well. That's for sure. I just want to come over here for a moment to point something out. Yeah, here where where Panera Bread is now. It was either here or it was this. Oh, here's where self-expressions moved. Oh, they, they still have a place. That's cool. Didn't know. Yeah, but here it he was either in this Panera Bread or the self-expressions. There used to be a Johnny's restaurant and they had a little balcony area you could eat at. It was really good. Long time ago, though. Way back machine. Really good food, still the best, uh, it was the best battered fish I'd ever had. And nothing's come close. Wait, wait, uh, Sea Galley. Before they changed their menu to supposedly be more healthy. I think that's what killed Sea Galley is when they tried to go more healthy. Because they're, oh my God, yeah, if I had forgotten about how good their batter was. We've got crab legs, Sea Galley. Uh-oh, we've got crabs. That store used to have a different front. Yeah, I swear that store, yeah, this store had this, this big, like a tiki front on it before. The way these malls are now, though, there's... They don't make you want... They, they don't make you relax. They don't make you want to hang out. They sort of make you rush to get... what you're uh, shopping for. You know, there's... I think about how this mall, in the 1990s, um, had some gang issues, so they tried to stop people, too many people from gathering. They would break up gatherings, 
and they started getting rid of seating and things that make people want to stay at the mall. And I don't really know whether they fully recovered from that, you know? And I wonder how many malls across the nation did the same thing in that period. I tell you, the, the mid-1990s was, was awful with gangs in this, in this city. Anyway, um, yeah, this mall has changed a lot in, in over the years, but uh, they have, they've done a pretty good job. And as you can see, there are still people who, a lot of people coming here. Um, it seems to be a successful mall. I'm still curious now about uh, Westfield South Center. Anyway. I guess this is long enough. Thanks for watching.